Every time your phone finds your location, every time an engineer calculates a bridge angle, every time a satellite stays in orbit, you are using mathematics perfected by a man history barely remembers. His name was Abu al-Wafa al-Buzjan. In the 10th century, Baghdad was the center of the scientific world. Astronomers were not stargazers. They were timekeepers, navigators, architects of civilization itself. But the math they inherited from Greece was clumsy, incomplete, and often inaccurate. The sky demanded better answers. Abu al-Wafa delivered them. He didn't just use trigonometry, he rebuilt it. At a time when angles ruled everything, from prayer times to calendars to navigation, he transformed trigonometry into an independent science. He refined sine and cosine, formalized tangent and second, and introduced mathematical identities that allowed calculations to be faster, cleaner, and far more precise. This wasn't abstract theory. His math worked in the real world. Astronomers suddenly measured stars more accurately. Instruments like astrolabes and quadrants became sharper tools. Observatories relied on his formulas to track celestial motion with confidence never seen before. Abu al-Wafa also solved one of astronomy's greatest problems, how to calculate angles across the curved surface of the sky. His advances in spherical trigonometry allowed humans to map the heavens properly for the first time. Centuries later, Europe absorbed this mathematics through translation. The formulas crossed borders. The credit did not. Textbooks remembered the equations. They forgot the mind behind them. Today, trigonometry is so embedded in technology that it feels invisible. But behind every angle, every orbit, every calculation that keeps modern civilization running stands a forgotten architect from medieval Baghdad. History didn't erase his work. It erased his name. And now you know it.